WWDC 22 is done. And we did not get a completion of the Apple Silicon conversion. There was one missing machine and that's the Mac Pro. Some people thought it was gonna come out today, but it didn't. What we did get was an interesting new SOC or chip called M2. This was heavily rumored and it came out to be true. Not only that, but we did get the new MacBook Air. Now let me talk about the M2 for a second. Apple's highest priority for the M2 was to keep the power usage as low or close to as low as the M1 while increasing the performance. This is their second generation of Apple Silicon using a five nanometer process. The M2 is starting out nice and easy, kind of like the M1 started. It does have eight core CPU like the M1, four performance cores, four efficiency cores. Now they did say that the performance cores were tuned to have even more performance. Uh, I'm gonna do some testing of that to make sure that that's what's indeed happening. I was a little bit disappointed with the M1 Ultra based on the promises, but I'll get that MacBook Air in here as soon as possible and uh, do some tests for y'all. So make sure you subscribe if you're not already to see those videos. 20 billion transistors, that's a lot of transistors, 100 gigabytes per second, 50% faster than M1 for the bandwidth on that CPU. There's also a 10 core GPU. So that's an increase from the M1. The M1 maxed out an eight core GPU. This one has 10, so it's gonna have a 25 to 35 higher performance in the GPU area than M1. They did mention the mysterious neural engine that we're still having a, a tough time coding for unless you're using Apple's own APIs, uh, which mysteriously don't surface what the neural engine does, how it does it, and they don't provide any activity monitoring for it. So maybe it's making some improvements, but not sure. And all that is rated at 15.8 trillion operations per second. Now the MacBook Air with the M2 in it, complete redesign, looks pretty cool. It actually looks kind of like the MacBook Pros. It's no longer a wedge, it looks like an ax. So um, taking somebody's head off with it will probably be a lot more difficult. Probably shouldn't have said that. I don't condone any violence on this channel. But anyway, it does have that notch in case you are wondering. It is supposedly lighter than the other MacBook Air, which I don't see how it can be any lighter. It's already so light, but that's good. And finally, it has the MagSafe, keeping the two Thunderbolt ports free if you need to use that while charging. Very cool. Let's have a look at the new MacBook Air pricing. Now on the website, you can't buy it yet. You can buy the M1, but you can only view pricing on the MacBook Air M2. So let's take a look at that. And then you have two options, eight core CPU, eight core GPU, or eight core CPU with a 10 core GPU. The one that we're talking about that's 1199 is for the eight and eight, and for the eight and 10 is actually 1499. That's a big, that's pretty significant. 1499 is a whole new category of laptops. Considering you can still get the M1 for 999, okay, that's for the eight and seven, but still you can go as low as 899 if you're an educator to get into the Apple Silicon ecosystem. M2 is a big hike from that. So yeah, pretty significant. I bet the M2 Pro and the M2 Maxes are gonna be even more. Well, of course, they're gonna be more. What am I talking, of course. They're gonna be more. Everything's always more. Let's have a look here. Select this one. This is the one I would buy if I was able to buy it right now. And I'd go for the 24 gigs of RAM, as much RAM as possible. Yes, absolutely. Hard drive on my MacBook Air, I'm not gonna be storing that much data on it. So I'd go for the 512, that's fine. For most folks, I recommend a terabyte, but not for me because I already have a bunch of other computers here that I use and it's not gonna be my daily driver. Let's scope out the one terabyte price. And now we're at $2,000, $2,099. That's a MacBook Air. If you max this out to two terabytes, we're at $24.99. That's MacBook Pro territory pricing. And for the bare bones, eight gigabyte, 512, that one is $14.99. Don't get eight gigabytes, especially if you're a developer. Eight gigabytes is too little these days. 16 minimum, that brings you to $16.99. That's a pricey MacBook Air. That's almost two times higher than the M1 MacBook Air. There are, of course, a ton of other announcements regarding operating systems for different devices and the new Ventura OS for the Mac, but I'll leave that for another video. Oh, um, the MacBook Pro, the same old MacBook Pro design was kept around. They just shoved a new chip in that and said, here you go. Here's the new MacBook Pro. 
that's cheating. So if you like that touch bar, you still can have it with the M2 chip inside of it. I don't, I just, I just don't see the point. Get the MacBook Air. Let's look at the MacBook Pro 13 inch. <laughs> Come on folks, don't get this one. Not worth it. I just don't see the point. All right, folks, I'll see you later.